Uh, extremely loud volume here, um, but because the players, you know, we're going to keep it simple so they can uh, hear the game. But ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to these two guys going into map one. Avek from Poland, Cypher from Belarus, both representing Serious Gaming, and we are off. And already, you know, we've got some action, and it looks like Avek is, uh, you know, the clear favourite of it. Well, almost a clear favourite of that situation. He didn't land any rockets there, Joe. Yeah, that was quite interesting, actually. Cypher really didn't have much to worry. They had a grenade launcher, and somehow came out of that situation uh, after spamming a little bit with uh, all that mega health pretty much intact. So, you know, nice little start from him. At the moment, you can see that Avek does have that LG. After uh, going up for the other yellow, and that red's just been collected as well. So, Armour will be in favour of Avec, but Cypher, of course, with that last Mega Health pickup, will have just a bit more health. Yeah, and, uh, the Megas to play for here. Avec probably not got a, a good chance of at least holding on to it, and Cypher comes in, but Avec, what a move. I mean, he had no rockets, and rocket is the, the best weapon you could maybe use there. And he had to do it with the LG. I think he just got the Mega and then managed to pick up the, the kill. But, you know, uh, Cypher hit about, uh, I'd say, two to three good rockets. So great play from Avec, and that's what I say. He's aggressive on the items, Avec. You're going to see him make these aggressive moves. Sometimes they look risky, but he is, you know, very, very, you know, they are well thought out. So good play from him. Cypher, on the other hand, you know, he does have himself 100 armor. Um, he's going to miss out here on any, one of these items. Nice uh, rocket there. And actually, Cypher got himself out of that situation. Didn't want to stay around knowing that Avec would probably challenge for him. And that red armor actually up on his platform at the minute, but Avec hasn't dropped down for it. He's going to try and set somewhat of a trap here for Cypher, and Cypher will fall for it. And now he's going to try and cut him off, which he manages, and it'll be 2 0 to Avec. Yeah, Spawn came in pretty close to Avec there, but not quite able to get over to it. That red armor finally collected, though, by the pole. Eight yeah. minutes to go. And Cypher, interestingly enough, Cypher has yet to use the lightning gun. He's got 0% accuracy with the lightning gun. He's yet to fire it. And I think Cypher hasn't really been able to pick the fight. Uh, finally, he uses the lightning gun from uh, the lower range. And that's a great push from Cypher. Avec was pushed down to the bottom. Cypher tries to capitalize, not able to do so. But what is important here is that Avec is finally going to lose control. Wow, great play from Cypher. You know, the red armor was available there um, for a long time, and Cypher decided not to go for the red armor. He went for the kills, and he's still doing it, and now he collects the red. You know, that's such a brilliant move from Cypher. Right now, needs more ammo for that rocket launcher. Mega health up in just a couple of seconds. Cypher will get it completely free there. Won't be challenged whatsoever. So that rocket launcher definitely needs some more ammo, which it probably will pick up here around that central area. He knows roughly where Avek is after that last rocket came in. He's going to try and pin him down onto this red armor area, spamming those rockets in. Red armor is there and collected. No and there's the uh, Cypher's rockets gone again, indeed. Yeah, I mean, he only uh, started that fight with six rockets and uh, he didn't connect with any. So he's given away the red armor and this could really hurt him here because they both want to try and get that mega health. They both have time. You can see Cypher, I think he's a little bit too scared to go for the mega. I think he feels if he does that, that Avic will take him. And Avic does take the mega and Cypher is going to have to play a more defensive game now. He's lost control of the map. You know, um, Avic is completely stacked. If we switch over to Avic, you can see he's like... Uh, 180, 190, so he is looking for the next kill here, Avec. Yep, and he's got that middle area as well, so he's really in the best position to take this one. Cypher comes in close range, and both players hitting decent rockets. And again, Avec will have to back away from this one. Red armor up in roughly five seconds, oh. and there's a great rocket from Cypher. Not enough, fight though. A little bit more even, but yeah, Cypher actually, uh, from those direct rockets earlier, is really, really struggling. And certainly on the back foot, he'll want to stay completely out of Avex's way. And there's another great rocket from Cypher. Oh, almost he tries to uh, make up some crazy uh, routes around the map to avoid uh, Avex, try and keep him away from him. Yeah, and Cypher's going to have to time the rockets out, and he uh, misjudges his timing. Gets hit, hit by two rockets, and here comes Avec. And Avec, great play. Once again, someone boycotting the uh, the red armor pickup, going for the kills when they know they can get them. And this is how good these uh, these two are. They are, you know, we're almost halfway in the first game. And, you know, just a, a few more seconds until we hit the five minute mark, but they are so close. And that was a great I mean, and great and very important rocket from Cypher, because he just won him the red armor. And he's got Avec, you know, reasonably stacked. Avec's not so strong at the moment. And Cypher will make his way out of that red armor area completely unhurt. So that's a bit of a bonus for him. Rocket's been thrown down by Cypher, but again, Avec just dancing around them. 
Red Armour will be the next item in play. Yeah, about but... to hit the halfway mark as well. Yeah, and, and Cypher's actually won control of the map back. And, and Avec, this is a bad move from Avec, but he hits good rocket. Cypher doesn't capitalize. There it is. Uh -huh. It is the shotgun kill. And uh, that was just, you know, a risky move. And now um, Avec goes in for the mega. He's even going aggressive with the shotgun. Cypher's backing away, and somehow he doesn't shut him down. And Avec gets the kill with a shotgun. And uh, that was a, a very, very surprising kill there. That really shouldn't have happened. But Cypher is going to tie us back up to a 4-4. And, you know, we can't separate these guys. They uh, they travel to every tournament together. They represent the same team. And right now, they uh, they want to share the same score. Oh, nice rocket. Absolutely brilliant rocket there from Cypher. Avic trying to uh, be a little bit cheeky and rocket jump in. But again, Avic going so aggressive here on the power-ups. But Cypher's rocket will connect before Avic's got a chance to get in there. And that's a superb move as well through middle to get himself back up in time to uh, cut Avic off as he tries to hit that upper yellow armor. And his LG was perfect without Absolutely taking any damage. Oh, oh Avic hits an air rocket for himself. Cypher got himself one a little earlier, but Avic says, I can do that too. And uh, he's going to bring us to a two-point game. But what is worthy to note so far is that you can see that Avic is throwing away the, the, um, the frags at the power-ups. He's jumping in for the mega, jumping in for the red armor. And Cypher's predicting this. He doesn't wait on the items. He waits for Avic to engage and then tries to get an advantage. So Avic is going to get himself that red armor. Cypher did pick up the mega. So these guys are going to be very even right now. And Cypher's trying to lay a trap. And he does work. And here comes a good rocket. And it is a fight that Cypher should take. And Cypher gets away with 85 health, no armor. And Avic gets away with 26 health and 44. So Cypher does have hold on the map. And this could be a little bit dangerous here for Avic unless he gets himself some help. Some help. Three minutes to go. Good LG from Avic. But the rocket from Cypher equally as strong. The question is who's going to get themselves in on these next power ups. Only one rocket here for Avic. That could be uh, interesting for him as the rockets come in from above. He manages oh. to avoid most of them, but not that one. Down to 66 health. Red armor stolen away, but he should be trapped in now by Cypher, who's spamming up from the rocket platform. So, obviously, pretty much unlimited rockets for him in that position. No LG left, just that one rocket for Avec. Will he get away? He will. He's still two frags behind. Two minutes 40 on the clock. And you know what? Some games of DM13 you see are so slow and calculated and Sometimes boring even, I go as far as well, to say. This one is just action-packed. Yeah, it, well, it's just how well they're playing. And uh, just, just to mention now that Cypher only just got himself up to 100 armor. And he's actually, the odd thing about Cypher, what, what actually happened was he had um, armor and Avex didn't. Uh, but he didn't use it. He didn't use um, the, uh, the armor to get center map and control red and mega. And he actually put himself at top yellow, which got him trapped and Avec stole away the weapons without really fighting. So great play from Avec. He's won the map back and he's got two minutes to get two frags and he's in pole position to do so. You know, Avec, uh, Cypher, if he gets caught once, um, you know, Avec will make the frag and Cypher can't let that happen. And here we go, Avec will make a move soon. He knows that Mega's gonna spawn, he's gonna pick it up, maybe a, a fake rocket jump. And here we go, he's gonna go aggressive. Yeah, nice little move. And Avec's heard Cypher there above him. He heard the rocket jump out as well. Both players here engaging around that central area. It's a dangerous rocket. They're going to go for the LG fight. Cypher backs away, probably for that 50 there, just around the corner. But still, it's Alec that has to do the chasing. He's two frags behind. Red Armour is indeed on its platform. Yeah. Um, Avec, uh, Avec thinks he's got Cypher lower than he is. Cypher actually has 92 health and Avec is trying to deny health. So Avec doesn't know that Cypher is actually really healthy here. Um, but, you know, Avec does take the Mega. And he, he will probably rush sometime soon because Avic needs to make a frag to, to get back into this. You know, it's not so much about getting two, it's about getting the first one because the second one is normally easier when you strip your opponent of um, all weapons. One so here we go. Warning. Last minute, Avic looking for an attack. First map here of the grand final, and it's going to be the chase here for Avec. The rockets are quite decent, but Cypher's got away. He's out of rockets, and Avec's in trouble, and Cypher will make it eight. Yep. And surely that will be enough here to secure this first map. It's not the healthiest at the moment. Well, that mega health is on its platform. Here comes an aggressive Avex. Cypher will back away from it. And the rocket's raining down. 30 seconds remaining. Avex knows that it's all or nothing at this point, And he's still got to get lucky even with that coming in towards the spawn points. That rocket will slow Avex down. 20 seconds remaining. Here comes the rockets from Cypher again. And surely there's another frag in it. Oh. And it won't be. But it's all right. Cypher won't mind. And the shotgun finisher 
I left him with only 3 HP, but he's made himself now 4 frights clear as we enter the last 10 seconds. And Avec, of course, all he needs to do is just keep chasing, chasing, chasing if he's got any uh, chance in this. But obviously, Cypher just delaying out his spawn. And the first map here on DM13 will go 9-5 in the favour of Cypher. Missed by Avec, pretty much costing the chance to come back. But here we go. We are going to be moving into ZTN. This is going to be Cypher's map choice. And uh, let's give them a round of applause again, guys. They are really playing their hearts out for you here. Cypher versus Avec, map two, ZTN. And already Cypher gets a little bit of a troublesome start, maybe. But uh, he does have that rocket launcher. Let's switch over to Avec and you can just see what kind of uh, game he's got going. 150 health, 100 armor. And there comes a nice LG to Railgun combo. And Avec, you know, cleans up the first frag very, very nicely. Yeah, nice little start here for Avec. He's going to go into oh, the second one and, well, despite not getting the nice. frag, he's done so much damage there to Cypher that, well, these next two items should be Avec free of charge. Red armor is the next one up. Drops down quickly towards that mega health. There's no clue where Cypher is at the moment. He's probably uh, hiding from these yellows. But I mean, Cypher just has to keep the score 1-0 uh, until, you know, round about the 8 minute 30, 8 minute mark, um, because that's when he's going to have um, the chance to build up enough armor to get back in the game. He can't really work with 46 armor, 79 health, so it's all about tracking your opponent, staying safe. And you can see here, he's moving in to pick up the shards once he knows Avex has gone for the rocket launcher and also got the railgun. I, you know, I, I disagree with him going to Mega, and he now disagrees with it as well. He's lost the armor that he's really fighting for. And you know, he hasn't taken that top yellow, so um, Avec looks like he's going to clean up another kill here. Let's see if he can. And uh, Avec surely going to get it. And Cipher goes down. And you know, it was it was a you know I, I would have liked to see um, Cipher just hold off for another yellow before he was putting himself in his mid position. Oh, nice! <laughs> Absolutely amazing from Avec. And you know, he completely lost out on that LG fight there, and of course the uh, well running out of ammo in the end yeah. didn't actually help actually him worked out for him in a way. Yeah, he forced him to, sh uh, to move to the rails and yeah. you know, uh, finish things up. This is interesting. That mega, that's the first mega on the map after two minutes that Cypher's picked up. So previously, Avix had all the megas. So maybe Cypher is now going to have a chance to get back in and you know get a reply on the three zero. Oh, that's a yeah, nice little rocket there, but it's been railed off and. Doesn't have ammo for the rocket launcher either. Low yellow is available. And this Cypher going to try and trap him. I think he's more content of just hanging around waiting for that next time oh. to spawn. And he will hit the plasma and the rail. And then we'll oh, plasma he climb the onto red and he's missed it. I don't think it matters too much because Avic is really hurt. He won't go for it. But it's just a little bit annoying. Um, Ava Cypher now needs to go for the... Um, um, for the Mega, and you know, Avec doesn't have rockets, so Avec can't yeah, rocket can't jump up. He can Plasma Guy, man? Fine, fine. And he is going to. Yep, and there we go. Cypher gave away an important item, and uh, right now Avec has 68 armor, Cypher has zero, and this could be a big factor, and that's a big mistake for Cypher, and that's really going to slow down you know, his chances of coming back. 3 0 down, 7 minutes to go. Of course, Cypher 1 to 0 up in his best of 5 series. Next armor in play is that red armor in just a couple of seconds. This time Cypher won't miss it. But there's a little bit of trouble from uh, below him there with that rail gun. It's not mega as well, so Cypher really in a position now to uh, start somewhat of a comeback. This red armor of Cypher gets it, he's really in control. If he doesn't get it, then it's a very bad thing because he actually rocket jumps towards his enemy. Nice move here. Avec heard it, and that's an important fight. And Cypher's like, I'm just going to take the red and hits a nice railgun on the exit of the fight. So, you know, that's only just given Cypher an edge over his opponent. This mega is his big power up. You know, he, the red armor, you know, pickup was very, very not messy, but, you know, disturbed by um, Avec. You know, he had other plans. So now Cypher is firmly in control of the map. 180, 200 for Cypher. Yeah, 85 armor on Avec and just 100 health. Missed most of those rockets, and his LG is absolutely perfect on the drop down. Cypher did get, uh, sorry, Avec did get away from him. And Cypher is now trying to uh, 
find out exactly where he is. Yeah, 57, uh, sorry, 47% on the LG for Sarah so far. Absolutely huge numbers, and he will get in there with Plasma. Lost a lot of health in the process. Nice. But he's got the Mega right on time. Now the question is, will he get over to this red in time? Yes, someone really likes that frag. <laughs> so, uh, an applause for Cypher. I think Cypher is, uh, you know, one of the favorite players, the players here in the uh, audience in Sweden. I mean, everyone follows Cypher. So creative, so good. And there again, he just makes an opportunity for himself. Uh, Avec down to 28 health. And Avec a little bit uh, risky here. And Cypher shuts him down. And Avic was hanging around those lower levels with just 28 points of health. And he's trying to turn that one. And look at those rockets from Cypher. Picks up the mid-air rocket and, and finishes with another. And he's already tied us up at 3-3. Three three, and that literally, those two frags happen you know, in a blink of an eye. And that's how fast Quake can be. But you really have to earn these frags. And Cypher certainly earned his three. So once again, just like the previous map, DM13, we are all level. That one was 4-4 four, four for a while. And here we're 3-3. Three, three. Yep, we've gone past that halfway point as well. Red armor up in just a few seconds. Cypher just one rocket and that's a great rail. Maybe avoid anything from below. Yes, he will. Mega health have been stolen away by Avico and that gives him obviously a chance now. To start to walk. Oh! Look at the rockets from Cypher. Absolutely brilliant. The rail on the exit. But he's taking a lot of damage himself. I, I think Cypher's happy there. though at the moment. He's just going to hit a couple more. There's one and there's the crater. Dead. And Avec gets railed midair and falls to his death. And uh, falling from that height, of course, caused them, um, you know, full damage. And Cypher picks up what a brilliant frag. And uh, he is going to take the lead now as uh, Avec loses a point and goes for two. No rocket actually hit oh. for uh, Cypher. Nice. <laughs> And it was nicely timed there. Yeah, I picked that Mega up, I think, on one health remaining. Yeah. Um, you know, crouching just to like, ensure all the damage and not even trying to dodge. He just wanted the, the Mega Armor to go. But, you know, such a close game. But Cypher just has a little edge over here over his um, teammate. Climbing up with the plasma. I'm sure this LG is going to be too wow. much for him, and it will be. And Cypher now extending his lead here to three points. But... He's not the healthiest we've seen him, and this mega health may just be snatched away from him. If Avic realizes oh, what's coming, and it's the rail, rail and grenade combo really there. And it brings Avic back to 5-3. More grenades spanned off the spawn by Cypher. We've got three minutes to go. Will Avic chase? This is what Avec needs as well. He's got map control with, with three minutes remaining, just past the three minute mark. I mean, Cypher has really been out aiming Avec at the moment. Um, Cypher still retains that kind of 40% LG, but it doesn't matter as Avec, when he's got control, he doesn't need to always, you know, pick an aim fight and uh, he just pushed Cypher, uh, Cypher around the map and got him through the teleporter. So one frag the difference. Cypher has nothing to his name. He's trying to get on the Mega. I can't see this working out for him. Avic's going to move in, and Cypher does take the Mega and gets away. That's an impressive move from Cypher, and a very important one as well. Very important indeed. Avic at the minute, 100, 200. Still in that low yellow away from Cypher. That'll be bad for the Belarusian. What he needs to do now is stack up on these uh, yellows so that he's in a position to fight. Oh, good armor, but he's not seen Avic coming in behind him. Good rockets from Cypher, though, but it is Havoc that comes out on top. Just barely, though. Luckily for him, he's got those 225s, but in comes Cypher, picks up the rockets oh, from his death. No. But again, it's Avic's rockets that are absolutely pin perfect. And, well, nice air there. rocket with a railgun, but doesn't get the kill, but he knows Cypher's hurt. But, you know, let's note that both players don't have much health on the map. Avec picks up another kill. He, he grabs a two-frag lead, but he's only on 24 health, and Cypher wants to kill him and uh, does get the frag. And now it's all about what guns you can get and who can get on the red armor. Cypher had the shotgun there. He's in the center map. Right, uh, <laughs> kind of a, a full-by shotgun blast. And Avec sits on 18 health. Cypher below him on 70. Mega is up. Red armor's up. Cypher, you know, is in firm control of the map if he can pick up one of these items. And Avec does uh, have to run away from the red armor because he hasn't got enough health. If we switch over to Avec, you know, you will be able to see, look, he's on 40, um, 43 health, 20 uh, armor. And, uh, so let's go back to Cypher and see if he can shut down the frag because he's the guy that's got a chase. Sees Avec. This is the railgun. Avec playing that annoying corner position by the teleporter. 
And he's back there again as well. Avic is back at the same place, and Cypher has to make a frag in these last 40 seconds. What's the move from Cypher going to be? Right now. He's been waiting. He knows that Avex changed his position now. He's going to probably have to set a trap and lie and wait for him or move so fast that he doesn't realize. And here comes Cypher chasing down the LG. He's good from underneath. And oh. there's a rocket back from Avex. The rail's missed. And Cypher oh. going to chase. And Avex rocket is there. And Cypher will call good games with yep. 15 seconds left on the clock. Avex a good game as well. And Avex will bring us back to 1-1 in this series. So we are going to get in the last five seconds in here. Avec picking this up eight to six. Cypher unable to hit his shots in the last moment, but Avec got the lead. He held on to it. A round of applause. There we go. Avec brings us. The map choice of Avec, and this map is going to be Tawny 7. And uh, a lot of rail in this map, uh, you know, can be very rail heavy. And it looks like we are going to be going live. So here we go. Map three, Tawny seven, score one map apiece. They're looking for first the three. And who's going to take the lead? Is it going to be Cypher? If it's going to be, is it going to be Avec? Well, I guess we just have to find out as Avec gets the red and the yellow and a roll gun to his name. He's a little bit cautious here about making that jump over to rocket launcher. Maybe he was expecting Cypher to come thundering down with an LG. Catching mid-air, but there is Cypher up behind him. Where has he gone? Both players kind of losing track of each other there for a brief moment. But Cypher trying to force his way in on this red armor will collect it. Avec could be in a little bit of trouble, especially now as he's out of rockets. The LG hitting him, but Avec has managed to hold his attacker off. Backs away, but surely Cypher is going to take this opportunity as he starts to move oh. in. But what a rail from Avec. Keeps him in the uh, game at the start here. Picks up that frag, picks up Mega, and now he's going to be a uh, prime contender for the next red armor. And Cypher tries to come in with Plasma, and to be fair to him, he's done a great job of it. Yeah, what was, uh, here we go, Cypher's uh, currently trapped now behind the pillar, looking for a shot. Does hit the shot, but gives up the frag to a 2-0 lead now to Avec. Oh, but look what? at the rocket! <laughs> As Avec runs in the room and Cypher shuts him down. Now Cypher is perfectly set up to take the Mega. He might be able to take the Mega and go to um, a Red Armor, but definitely not now. And that's a frag that no one should have given away. I mean, look at these items up on the map. There's Red, there's Mega. He's almost got the kill onto Avec. One health yeah. and he's going to take it and die. <laughs> But that's a worthy, that's a really good decision because yeah. he couldn't have given that over to Cypher. It was better to die and take away the red. So, you know, next time that the red's up, um, Avec will be able to put in a good attack. But, you know, what a great game. What a great game indeed. And the rockets from Cypher have just been absolutely amazing. Avec struggling for health and armor at the minute to deal with avoiding Cypher for as long as possible. Red armor picked up by Cypher. Four seconds until Mega. Will Cypher challenge? Yes, he will. Avic has to drop away from it. He's going to try and hit with the LG, and that's brilliant LG from below. Tracks him as he comes down as well. Where's Cypher gone? Trying from below as well. Will connect with the rail, and we're tied up here at 7 minutes 50 to go. Red weak, Armour not in play for a while. Yeah, he is weak, and Avic knows it. He's going to oh, challenge what the Rockets again health. from Cypher. Yeah, Cypher got the kill, you know, with only 10 health left, so these guys really know how much health and armor they've got. They really know when to push each other, and it, it just, you know, it's so challenging for them just to kind of hold their ground, but a 3-2 lead now for Cypher. We're going to have Mega spawning. Cypher going to go up with an LG, most likely. He's going to spam one rocket. Need to take it. Avic wins the Mega. Cypher misses the Railgun, and he's been hitting a really impressive Railgun so far. Um, so that's uh, a, a one he wouldn't have wanted to miss. And now Avec, you know, is on, uh, ready to take this, but he's going to push in. And with the LG, oh, oh my god, Cypher gets the win. And he, oh, oh. he doesn't make the drop down <laughs> and takes five damage, but he spawns. Oh, and he loses out on the red. He takes a grenade to the face, and he's going to have to go down to the MG. And Avec, what a, you know, what a crazy situation we find both these players in. I mean, Cypher could even, even win that with a machine gun, but it doesn't happen. And Avec takes the lead back as we, uh, you know, and we're only, you know, three and a half minutes into this game. It's uh, very, very fast. Yeah, very high pace. And you can tell the kind of small difference in this game by the kind of frags that we're seeing here. Very real scrapping, fighting for every little piece of health to come away. Nice, Avec, Avec with the LG from underneath. That will put him 5-3 up. Now we may see this one settle down just a bit. And, and what's, um, you know, also to mention between these players is uh, they are going to fight over the Mega. Um, right now, Cypher having a really tough time here. 
Um, Adek's got him tapped, but Cypher rocket jumps away. But what is um, worthy to mention is that if Cypher, you know, is at a disadvantage frag-wise later in the game, oh, nice pick uh, a frag there from Avec. I mean, if Cypher's going to make the frags happen, that's a lot trickier, I feel, than Avec, because Avec is more aggressive. He can make those frags happen. Cypher yeah. likes to pull his opponent apart, you know, and that takes longer. That takes longer to get the frags, but Avec can be more direct. So if Avec retains a, a healthy lead in score-wise over Cypher, you know, this could be him taking, you know, a 2-1 victory because Cypher is very hard to pull Avec off control. Almost hitting that halfway point. Cypher going for the air rocket there as that red armor is up for grabs. It is picked up by Cypher. The rocket's brilliant. Oh, oh. it's a telefrag going through at exactly the same time. Avec with 4 HP. Can he get the conversion? That rocket again is dangerous. And there's the rail. Brilliant Amazing. display here from both of these players. Cypher takes the time to type. Nice one. And he knows that, that kind of thing is not going to help him in this game. Red armor up in five. Cypher an easy target for Avec. And that's a six point lead now. And we're going to hit the five minute mark, the yeah. halfway point, and this could put Avec into the lead. Yeah, and if you just want to check the accuracies of Avec, currently he's hitting a 62% railgun. Um, probably, yeah, average. That's the highest railgun that he's probably hit in you know, the whole tournament, and he's brought it out for the finals here on T7. Cypher, on the other hand, does hit a 50% railgun. Uh, he's done some nice moves here, and uh, Avec does miss finally one of his shots. So he's the really, really hurt. Ever. Yeah, the easiest <laughs> shot he misses. He's hitting all the hard ones. And uh, but he does get the red armor and the yellow. Cypher did pick up the mega, but Cypher really needs armor. But he knows he's going to have to make something happen. And he takes just, he's lost all of his mega now, Cypher. He's in a real, you know, problematic, uh, he's got real problems. But nice double grenade there, it seems, uh, onto Avec. Great first rocket from both players. Cypher going with the LG, but again, Avex rockets just seeming to hit every single opportunity. He knows where Cypher is off this spawn as well. And he's pretty much got him trapped. Obviously doesn't want to go too early through that teleporter. And drops nice. down perfectly. Gets his crosshair exactly where uh, Cypher was going to land. And 11-3 with four minutes to go. Cypher is looking, uh, sorry, Avex is looking good here to extend or move into the lead, I should really say, since it's 1-1. Yeah, oh, the what? Final. The shotgun just took Avec off the map when it shouldn't have even done, you know, dented Avec. I mean, Cypher just hit shotgun back to back. And, you know, even though it's an 11 4 game, three minutes 30 can be enough for someone like Cypher, especially when he's got pinned under the mega. Here he goes. Cypher trying to hit as much damage as possible, but Avec actually hitting better rockets. And he's knocked Cypher down. And uh, Avec, you know, gets out of that. Um, problematic uh, area you know that really was a problem for him for him to be there and he just got out and he just won two items so i Whoa. think cypher's going to be a little bit disappointed but he's hitting back to back rails and he's got a chance for wow. a kill there's a third one and uh, we get a little bit closer now so you know i think avec you know was the escape artist earlier it wasn't a fault of cypher it was really avec playing great but cypher you know finally he hit some rails back to back and that's uh Hitting rails back to back on T7 is one of the most important maps to hit them back to back on uh, because you don't get, you know, a lot of opportunities to kind of dent your opponent with just one railgun shot. It's always about hitting the two or the three, and that's what um, Cypher just did. So great play. This is an interesting little bit of positioning from Cypher. Yeah, he's worried Trying about Avic. And, he and here comes Avic, steals away the mega. Good LG to rail combo from Cypher as he moves away towards this red armor. Avic is already bad down Cypher. there. Just gave away the red. And I, he didn't need to give away the red there. Had he have been in position, he could have defended that red armor. Um, but, you know, also when we talk about Cypher's rails, he's only just got his two impressives, you know, in the last three minutes of the game. So he needs to start, you know, pick it up and start hitting some more. But he's only got 44, well, now 69 armor, Abek. I'm oh, sorry, Cypher. And he's going to rush for the red, and he has to rush. He catches Abek. Oh, and he pins him. Oh, what a and move. what a kill. And he's looking, he's listening, he's listening for the spawn. He doesn't know if he, uh, he didn't hear the spawn, so he's going to suspect that Avec is over by the railgun area, and he's going to try and, you know, flush him out here. And in he goes. And Avec probably just left high. Yeah, and he did. Avec's over by the LG now. One minute, 40 on the clock. Cypher trying to come back in this game. Red armor is available, and both yellows. That red does go to Cypher. Let's just have a look at Avec, see what his game is. And that is the game from Avec. 
probably a wise one at this kind of scoreline, but he knows that if a couple more go back towards Cypher, who will spot him, hits the one rail, and he's now going to go for the chase. Where did he go? There he is, oh, and he connects just as Avec was about to go around the corner. Oh, and he spawned there. Cypher's got a good chance, but he needs to be fast. He needs to cut him up, and there's Mega up on that spawn point. I, Avec might actually be lured to it, but... Um, uh, um, Avec is a lot smarter than that. He's actually bypassed Mega, uh, gone underneath it, and he's in the center of the map. So he just spotted Cypher. Cypher, he can't get these items. He doesn't have time to get items. He needs he needs frags, and he needs four of them. Spotted him there. He's going to make the move, and surely this is a frag for Cypher. Where has Avec gone? Playing the running game perfectly here. He's having it. Here comes Cypher again. He'll dance around this pole for a while. Cypher knows that he has to make a move. It's now three frags. 30 seconds to do it. This next frag has to come very, very quickly for Cypher. There's a red armor. The rocket jumps up. There is Avec. And actually, the rocket hit there from Avec. And surely he's done enough now to avoid the, uh, the comeback from Cypher. As he oh. himself cheekily rocket jumps away. But now he's trapped into that yellow oh, armor. We'll come forward. Avec will pick up the frag. Cypher will concede the game, and that is going to put Avec into the lead in this grand final in this best of five, two to one, and of course that puts him on game point, if you like. Two to one. Phenomenal as a performance uh, here in Sweden. So here we go then. T9, max point to Avec, and we're going to go live. And uh, currently with Avec, he's got the LG yellow armor, and he's even got on the Mega, so perfect, perfect spawn for Avec. Um, but very nice of Cypher not to give away a frag. I mean, you know, some people get caught out in that middle area by the um, LG, um, but Cypher, you know, hasn't given away the frag, and Cypher loves this map. He loves, he's so sneaky around it. He always will do damage to you, and then, you know, and then take the map off you without you even knowing it. Um, but Avec at the same time, you know, he's got an amazing plasma gun. That could be his big advantage here. And of course, the mega area, he's going to be aggressive on it. Cypher is currently in on it now. I don't know how this is going to work out, but one to two rockets. And absolutely perfectly placed. The first rocket flicks Avec uh, into him, and the second rocket was set up perfectly. And, you know, Cypher is going to attack, and he's actually doing okay, but almost. Could have been missing out on the frag there and actually losing his life, but a 2-0 lead. And you know, for the last two maps, Joe, Avec was the guy who opened up the fragging. So this is, you know, the first map out of the three, the last three played where Cypher actually takes an early lead, and that could be important for him. Yeah, let's see if he can uh, hold it. And obviously, Rocket's super, super important on this map, and that's one thing that Cypher really, really excels at. I mean, he really, really can spell that out after what we've seen so far. Mega health is up. Avec will collect as Cypher runs out of rockets, and the plasma not actually going to connect whatsoever. And he's dropped down into a dangerous position here, Cypher. Just tries to fool Avec a little bit. And they're playing that teleporter dance quite perfectly at the minute. But it's still, of course, Cypher that leads. Only got that one yellow armor to play with at the moment. The other two plus the Mega, of course, went over to Avic. Here comes Avic in behind. Did a little bit of damage. Trying to uh, catch Cypher off maybe at the next opportunity. In comes Avic. Cypher again putting down those defensive rockets. The plasma spanned up towards the teleporter exit. Cypher has to be careful here as he tries to get those two 25s. And in comes Avec. Surely this is a frag with the LG. His aim not actually connecting much there. Yeah, I not think sure there was a, a little bit of um, lag spikes on the server. Uh, looks like these guys uh, have just got that sorted. It, it's happened a couple of times uh, in this tournament. Um, but it seems okay now, so these guys are going to be back on track. So, you know, a little bit of missed aim, aim from both players, but it hasn't hurt anybody. We're still a, a, a very even game. Both of them have, like, roughly 100 health, 100 armor. It's going to be Mega to fight for. Avic's going to be in position. Cypher's going to try and hit him with rockets. He hits him off Mega, and there's free health. Whoa. And Cypher takes him down, and Avic, you know, he was just, you know, that, that Mega... You know, he could almost, you know, <laughs> taste it, I'm sure, if it had a taste, sure. You know, it's taste minty. Of awesome. Taste of mint. <laughs> it tastes of awesome. Um, you know, he could have almost got it. He had three health, but there you go. Cypher converts and uh, makes it a 4-0. So, brilliant, brilliant play from Cypher here. And this is why this is his map. And he's a, a really scary player, Cypher, to play on this map. Right now, both players keeping a uh, fair distance from each other. Mega health next in place. 
picked up for Cypher. He has a nice little stack. The armor's in the advantage, of course, of Avec, but that last mega health bringing things quite even. Let's switch over to Avec and uh, see what he's got to offer as he tries he's to pretty work good his now. way back. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's just gone down the yellow. Um, you know, so he, oh, no, the Rockets have put him in a bad situation. And uh, it looks like Avec is going to go down again. Cypher's Rockets, you know, that's twice Cypher's Rockets have been flicking um, Avec towards him in a, in, you know, in a bad spot. And, uh, you know, Avic's got to be a little bit more cautious about how, you know, how his movement and how aggressive he is. But right now he goes into the fight and he was late for Mega. Cypher picks up another frag and, you know, a 6-0 lead on this map is brilliant for uh, Cypher. But, you know, that's very possible for um, Avic to come back. You know, we've still got six minutes left with uh, only six frags different. Nice little nice move rocket. there from Cypher with the rocket. Which is oh. out and he'll catch Avec just before he makes it to that middle yellow. Mega health not on for a while. And those 225 health bubbles going to put Cypher back in good territory. Here comes Avec oh, and well, a nice. couple of rockets again from Cypher. In return for that upper yellow, Mega's for free as well. And Cypher with an 8-0 lead, like you mentioned, Dave. We've not seen Cypher have this start. Um, Ever. In any of so, the maps so, so far, far. yeah. So this is like so dominating of Avic. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a, a dangerous fight here. And here comes a potential, and uh, Avic goes through the teleporter. Cypher oh. follows with the rocket and picks up another impressive frag. But what's also, you know, we can mention here, oh, as the Teddy frag comes in, uh, you know, Avic is, uh, if he gets Teddy frag one more time uh, this tournament, on uh, this map, you know, he's going to start eliminating it in the best of threes. Uh, Strengths uh, got him earlier with that one. Um, but of course, you know, just looking at the accuracies, one accuracy which is hugely important here is a 36% rocket launcher. That is insane. I mean, that's such a high percent, and he's, spa he's spamming a lot of rockets. And if you look over at Avec, he's only actually got a 20% rocket launcher. So you can see there's a big difference here between the rockets, and Cypher is, you know, world famous for his, you know, his rockets. And there, there you go. Just again, he's crippled Avec, and he probably will make a move for the Mega, and Avec has to run away. So let's switch back over to Cypher and see if he's going to be able to finish up the kill. And uh, Avec is above him, but he's very, very hurt. There we go. Nice, clean kill. Yeah, very nice one. Cypher decides to go in for the frag rather than going straight in for that um, middle yellow, which actually lost all of it pretty much as he picked it up. And that's 11 to 0. We're past the halfway point already. Very dangerous territory for Avec to be in because you just don't see any real weak point in Cypher's game at the minute. And certainly when he's just hitting rockets left, right, and centre like that. Yeah, and there's uh, another. I mean, if you came into this map, Joe. Plasma. Yeah, absolutely amazing. But you know, if you came into this map, and that's going to be what? another one. As uh, Cypher, Avec is going to have a, a horrible taste of plasma in his mouth and. Now he's going to be filled with shotgun, and there's a spawn as well with the shotgun blast, and you already know that Avex um, hurt off this, and look at Cypher, he's just enjoying himself, such control and movement, such pace to the game, and, you know, such a score difference, and as I wanted to say, if someone asked you to guess the score, <laughs> oh, would you have guessed that it would be something around 16-0, where, you know, Avec can't even get a kill? This is one of the best performances from Cypher. Finally, Cypher makes a mistake. He uh, rockets himself, and Avec is going to get a small in, you know, not to maybe get off just, just a frag. And I'm sure, you know, Avec isn't thinking about winning this map, but I'm sure he does want that frag, Joe. 16 0. Yeah, like you say, if, if you asked uh, 100 people to guess the score of this one, no one would be thinking with 2 minutes 50 to go 17 0. Um, but, you know, absolutely amazing performance by Cypher, like you said. The only one mistake we've seen is from, uh, you know, just a few seconds ago with that failed rocket at the Mega. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that might not even cost him a frag at this rate, because the way that Cypher is playing T9 right now, you can just expect him to get control back like he is actually. Yeah, but this is this, this map completely um, complements his kind of game. That's yeah. why he's picked it. And uh, he is kind of fighting against Avec. Avec seems a little <laughs> bit furious. He's going to go down to minus one. But you know, Avic is, uh, I, I think he flag. knows this is over. <laughs> yeah, he fragged himself, it, it counts, it counts. Um, but it's just that I think Avic is like, okay, let's, uh, let's just shoot, you know, let's get involved. And this looks like it is going to come. Oh my oh. god, one health. And let's see if he can get the 50. And he does do so. And Avic finally, how can he not get the kill? There it is. And Avic, Avic gets the kill. Come back. It's a, yeah. 
19 frags in 1 minute 50. You heard it here first. It's going to happen. <laughs> not sure. We're not even going to get overtime. It's going to be 20 frags. Let's see. The combat for Ammo here in the grand final. Somehow, I don't think so. But he certainly wants to have a good last minute in this one and uh, you know, get his head oh, back up if nice. you like. Uh, it won't actually last long there as Cypher brings it to 20-0. I'm so calm with the rockets. He's like, yeah. fire LG. I'm just waiting until you land in the perfect spot. And I'm going to take you down. 21 to 0. 1 minute 15 to go. Cypher out there for a second. He's got no rockets to play with at the minute. Oh, almost got a, a tele flag on Avic then. And here comes the fight. And, oh, just look at Cypher's aim. He's so outclassing uh, Avic here. But Avic does pick up the kill after picking up the 225. And, uh, yeah. That's easy for him, but then Cypher just comes back in and puts a good rocket down. And there comes another kill off the spawn. And 23 to 1. And he's even upped his accuracy on the rocket launcher. It was 35. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. It was 35%, but now it's uh, 37. So just getting better here, Avec. You know, and he really has found his uh, pace. He's found the zone. And uh, Avec is just... He's going to have to take whatever he's got in the next map. But wow, what a move from Avec. <laughs> jumping on the ledge. Uh, dodging all the plasma and picking up the kill with just a machine gun. And, you know, they are master of all weapons here. And there comes another kill. Great plasma gun. And, you know, all, unfortunately, you know, all this excellent moment a little too late. So it's done with them, uh, you know, before it hit kind of the 16-0. Typing. Still managed to get the kill. Yeah, 24 to 3. At least right now. And this is going to set us up, obviously, for the situation that we all wanted, which is to see all five maps. 24 to 3 ends for Cypher, and that brings us to a 2-2 scoreline, and we go down to the final map, which is the old classic DM6. Finals, last map. The winner of this is gonna be the champion, and we are live. That was an interesting little move there for Avec. I thought he was going to peek down and try to do some damage down by Mega, but he's got red armor. He's got LG. And he's uh, already tried to take position. In fact, he's got the yellow away as well. Looking at Cypher, obviously. Wow. Only, a, only mega. the Mega. Yeah, but he's got position on red. So let's see if he can use it with the rocket launchers. He's uh, With the rocket, sorry. He's uh, only got the one rocket launcher. Four rockets left, and he's just trying to try and play around the red. Yes, it's a three good rockets and a oh. Rogan. And that's going to cripple Avec, surely. And Cypher thinks he can actually pick up the kill and the Mega. I'm not sure where Avec is. He is above him. Cypher hits another Rogan. And there comes, oh, a possible. Oh. And he, had he kept the Rogan out, he would have got the kill, I'm sure. And uh, looking at Avec, Avec, you know, after picking up the Mega, you know, he's now got himself up to 100 health. So I'm sure that could have been a kill for Cypher, and it should have been. So unlucky from Cypher. But he's doing great so far. Great rockets from Avec back. there. And he'll take the lead here in the final map on DM6. And out of the maps that we've seen so far, of course, it's Avec that's had the uh, better start in all but the uh, uh, all but Tawny Knight. A little bit of machine work there off the spawn on Cypher, and they're going to hang around here for this Mega. Avec is down on the spawn, will collect, and uh, Red Armor not up for a good few seconds, so he's going to keep himself a little bit hidden, trying not to get spammed too hard from Bridge. There is the Red Armor, now on its platform, picked up by Avec. And there's plenty of time now, of course, until this next Mega's in play, and it'll spawn at the same time as the Red Armor. So that'll give both of these players the opportunity maybe to spread out one on each power up um, and try and get back into the game for Cypher. Yeah, Cypher barely missing a rocket onto Avec, but he's only got the 50 armor. If we uh, switch over to Avec, you can see you know, he is on the Mega now. He's uh, looking good to get these power ups. He's going to get the uh, Mega. Let's see if he's going to get on the red, and that's very important. You know, it was the opportunity that Cypher could have got a power up, as Joe mentioned, but not going to be able to do so. So now we have Avec, you know, 170, 170, and that's a big armor stack and health um, compared to Cypher, who's only got 50 armor. And he's looking to try and get on the yellow. Uh, Avec, Mr. Rao, Cypher is going to be very happy of that situation. But the game will slow down now because Cypher won't want to show himself. He's going to want to play real safe. He cannot let, um, he can't let Avec, you know, do damage to him. He's on the Mega and somehow Cypher looks like he's going to win this Mega. Oh. Look at the LG, picks up the Mega. One rocket will kill and he gets the kill. And Cypher 
he puts the rocket behind um, Avec, which is actually, I don't know if he, he was accidental or not, but the fact is, by putting the rocket behind Avec, he avoided hitting himself with the rocket launcher, which would have killed him on 22 health. So either Cypher's a genius, or he just, you know, sometimes just knows constantly what to do, or that was, uh, you know, just worked out perfectly for him. But either way, he's got himself a frag, and he's back in the map. Nice aggression there, actually, from Avec. Gonna push him off. Will he be able to survive Whoa. for the red? No, he won't. Perfectly timed drop. Was uh, obviously countered there by Cypher. Mega health is on its platform and collected by Avec. Surely the rocket jump will see. Yes, we will. As the uh, armor, of course, all going to Cypher at the minute. Only shards. Yeah, but look at Avec. this. Avec has a, a, you know, he's real healthy. He's, he's got health. 186 health and he's got 25 armor. He's got position to catch Cypher off with the LG. He's already done some damage. Good rocket from Cypher. And no, nope, a little bit too early there. Couldn't get on the red. And that's two red armors that Avec has committed to, but he's just been killed like, you know, a split second before it spawned. So I, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to attack the, ne the next red because he hasn't done enough, n enough damage to Cypher. But knowing Avec, you know, he probably will try it. So let's see if he can get in position again. He's trying to keep Cypher at bay. Five seconds until the red spawns. Avec is in position. Looks like he is going to win it. And here he comes. Great play from Avec. Cypher's LG, though, is surely winning and he picks up the kill with 43 health. But this is where Avec can get the comeback frag. We got a 4-1 score. Um, Avec gets the yellow armor, and this means that he's gonna rush. And here comes the kill. Great play from Avec. He attacked red armor three times in a row to die. And now he's gonna pick up the kills two in a row, just because, you know, that is such well played from Avec. Such, you know, great play on this map. But he's given away a red. And we are back at a very even game now in terms of health and armor for both these players. Avic has a slight advantage, but only a one frag lead for Cypher. One frag with five and a half minutes remaining here on DM6. Ten seconds for that red armor. Avic's given his position away if Cypher's anywhere near him. Cypher has a rail gun, Avic doesn't. Rocket spammed up and down from both players. Red armor is on its platform. It's collected by Avic and he gets away very, very cleanly. Mega Health is next, of course, in play, and I think making a risky move there, moving up the jump pad. In the end, Cypher had already turned his back anyway, so Avex certainly in control of this map. If we look over at Cypher, the armor fairly good. Those rails are going to help to neutralize the health and armor that Avex managed to uh, get together in this one, but here comes an aggressive Avex, but look at the rockets again from Cypher, connecting the rail misses. And the red armor was collected there by Avex, who comes flying around the corner with just a machine gun. He's able to bring us back to a tied scoreline 4 4. We've gone past the halfway point. Yeah, and uh, that was one of the first mistakes I saw from Cypher this game. Um, as he, he actually is going to win the Mega, so, you know, a 4 4 game, we're, we're even again. But Cypher actually going, you know, to kind of spam Plasma at the, the Red Armor, um, you know, um, he shouldn't have even been there. And he does challenge uh, the Red Armor here, and Avid gets the kill. But, you know, when Cypher had that Railgun, um, he should have used it from a distance, but. You know, that's, that's what Avic was thinking. Avic dropped down uh, towards the railgun area where Cypher could have been railing. And then Cypher went, you know, just underneath the RA. And that was, or underneath bridge, sorry, which was a, a bad position to be in. So he, I think Cypher's given away the lead, so, somewhat to speak. And he's got himself another Mega. So this is great for Cypher as long as he gets a yellow. Because then, once again, we are very evenly stacked. We can't afford to get railed here. Cypher doesn't have a rail. And uh, that was lucky for Cypher that um, Avic didn't hit. And Cypher needs to go challenge this red armor. Or he can take a little time, but I think a good challenge here is a, a good decision. And Cypher's above red armor. Brilliant play from Cypher. He should be winning that red, and that's going to put him in control. Yep, those are crucial oh. rails miss. Great shot there with just the top of Cypher's head showing there for Avic. And it's perfectly timed down onto Mega. Here's the uh, fight that may change how this one is. That rocket actually just catching Avec as he dropped down from the jump. But he's back fairly healthy now at 120 and 50. Oh, wow. Good rocket from Avec. That's going to send Cypher away. And I think um, Cypher will probably end up dying here. And yes, he does. Avec hits the railgun. And, you know, getting Avec off this map is going to be so difficult for Cypher. Avec has a time on Mega. He has time on Red Armor. I don't know if Cypher has a Mega time. You can see Avec does and drops down and picks it up. Cypher needs to do something magical. He needs his rockets. He needs some sort of crazy aim to come out because otherwise this, is, uh, this could go from bad to worse. But there's uh, at least a little bit of opportunity um, to do some damage onto Avec, but it doesn't really hurt him. Oh no, Cypher. Risky, risky move. 
And this, uh, we'll have to see if Avek is going to capitalize because Cypher has only 62 health. Some the aggressive move, and look at that for a rocket from Cypher. We've seen him do that before. Wow. Yeah, that rocket, it was, he just heard the rocket jump. He wasn't even looking there, and then actually flicked, you know, and shot the rocket. So that was probably one of the best rockets so far of the tournament. And it's given him always, you know, that little bit of extra time. You know, he's not yeah. allowing Avec to push him around yet. But the trouble is, is Cypher doesn't have enough armor to push Avec off the top. You know, push him off the control. And this is going to be bad for Cypher. Avec sees him as Cypher comes up the stairs. He is going to be trapped now. And this, uh, it's lucky for Cypher that Avec is down to the bottom. Uh, Avec does hit the shots. And the trouble is, is look, Avec's got just enough time to get to the Mega. So Cypher has absolutely nothing. He needs to get this yellow. Avec going to go for the shots up there. Mega collected. He spots where Ooh. Cypher's gone. Cypher almost has 100 armor, but he's going to try and push an attack on red. Two frag difference. Cypher is going to have to start to make his way for these next couple of powers. Maybe that next Mega after another yellow is where he needs to go. And actually, the red armor's there. Cypher's going to take this as an opportunity. Gets in there. The LG is wow. absolutely he's brilliant. Now. And this is where Cypher may wow. just have turned the tables. Yeah, Cypher has actually just taken back map control from attacking that red armor, you know, with only 70 armor of his own. And he just hit a railgun shot. And this is important. Cypher knows he can get the kill. He's now got himself onto the Mega. He's going to rocket jump up. Can he find Avec? Avec hears him. And he's above him. He's trying to not get hit. We've got 45 seconds on the clock. Misses the railgun shot. And Avec might still be there. No, he's at the bottom. And Avec hits one oh. and two. And Cypher knows his chance is gone. And Avec getting that kill had only 62 health. So that railgun shot would have killed him. And uh, Cypher, unfortunately, you know, as, as magical as some of his shots are, whatever he was uh, doing right before, he just ran out of. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are going to have, um, you know, unfortunately for Cypher, he's not going to win. But unfortunately, very much so for Avec and also Serious Gaming. Um, who uh, you know, sponsor both of these guys or host them and they are sponsored by Razer as well. So they're going to have a great tournament, but it looks like Avec is going to be the champion here of the Quake Live Kaspersky Championships. Three to two. All right, thanks for a very entertaining final. Avic standing victorious. I'm standing here with Cypher. You, it was a very, 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 very good final. We, uh, I believe the entire audience enjoyed it, but one went wrong in the end. I don't know, really. I can't say anything, but I make uh, mistakes which cost me the game, and uh, also my chick play very good. And I just can't, can't uh, hold it, and uh, he won the deserved win. All right. So I know that. <laughs> I asked Avic early if he was afraid if you wouldn't talk to him. Are you mad at him? Uh, no, one cigarette and everything okay. All right. <laughs> Big round of applause for Cypher. He won't leave empty handed. He still won 15,000 crowns here at the Kaspersky Quake Live tournament, a dream hack. But of course now, over to the winner from Poland, Avic. So first of all, the obvious question, how does it feel? Uh, I have no words. It's uh, such a great feeling and uh, yeah, I can't say anything. Is it always a little bit fun? Uh, I mean, more amusing beating Cypher than anyone else? Uh, I think he's uh, the best player right now in the world. And maybe Rafa can beat him, but. Uh, 
Yeah, in my opinion, he's the most complete uh, player in the world right now. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a really nice feeling uh, to win. All right, a, a lot of humble words here today. So with, here you go, the check from Kaspersky, Quake Live tournament here at Dreamhike. Big round of applause for Avic.